First of all, I just want to start with this video with the fact that miracles do happen. <laughs> that's crazy and that's fantastic, but like miracles, they can occur and like as long as you believe in it, as long as you uh, do what it takes to um, like make it happen, it can happen. <laughs> but I will not go uh, further than that um, because uh, it's not a done deal yet, so I just don't, don't want to jinx it. But it's like on that positive note, let's go uh, and check this album out. Push a T. I'm freaking excited for this record. Uh, first of all, because uh, Kanye West is producing this uh, whole album. I'm a follower of Kanye West. I'm a fan of Kanye West, and um, I just was freaking excited when uh, he started to like release the due dates, like the back and forth, left and right. Um, like Pusha T, new album, myself, like new album, Kanye and Kid Cudi, new album, collaborative album, it's like Tiana Taylor, uh, Nas, so it's like, oh, damn, like, calm down, but I'm, I like it, you know? <laughs> so, um, Pusha T is, uh, for those of you who don't know who Pusha T is, is a phenomenal rapper. Uh, he has he didn't release an album since 2015, just like ASAP Rocky. By the way, if you haven't checked out uh, that reaction video that I did uh, recently, uh, make sure you do that. Uh, it was pretty uh, lit. Now. Here we have only seven tracks, uh, they gotta be fire. And what adds spice uh, to this album is that uh, apparently Pusha T dissed a lot of rappers and one of them was Drake and Drake didn't like that fact and uh, like next day after uh, the release of the album, Drake already released uh, this track, Freestyle. Um, so I'm gonna check that freestyle uh, in this video after I'm done with the album. I wanna go in chronological order. So first, wanna see what Pusha T said, uh, his point of view, and then what Drake said, his point of view. So a lot of exciting things are happening today. Pusha T, Daytona, first reaction. Let's go. Track one. If you know, you know. And this track is blowing up, by the way. Like. That's one, that's a single right now. Pulling up in that new toy, the wrist on that boy, rock star like Pink Floyd, waving at, waving at you, boy. Ah. Ran off on the plug too, like True Goy. Ooh. Imagine me, do boy. Ah. If you know, you know. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Kanye West you so know, full you know. beats. You know. This thing of ours, oh, this thing of ours. Yeah. A fraternity of drug dealers ringing up. Too legit, they still looking at me with one eye. The company I keep is not corporate enough. Chow rebel so but a trapper turn rapper can morph in a puff. Dance contest for the then head the way. Do you walk away? If you know, you know. When we all clicking like a sport, you know, you know. If you know about the carport, the trap door supposed to be awkward. If you know, you know. That's the reason we ball for Fantastic opener Fantastic track you know, you know. Let's get it more Six more tracks Win this bitch So uh, I was reading the lyrics uh, Like Oh my gosh This this rhymes are great And uh, like um, I Especially like the first part When he says uh, Pulling up in that new toy The wrist on that boy rock, rock star Like Pink Floyd waving at rude boy I'm waving at you boy <laughs> and it's like he mentions also um, uh, and word um, in Paris um, before hit boy and like he's sort of he's sort of bragging um, about his accomplishments and like uh, and he also says that like towards the end of the track solely responsible for showing rappers how to stand on the front lines when trappers started throwing bands. I might be wrong here right now, but like this is a kind of shot at trap rappers, like sort of the trend which is, which is going on right now with Lil Skies, <laughs> Lil Skies, <laughs> Lil Baby, um, Playboy Cardi, artists like that. Um, Rich the Kid. I personally amazed with this track, and I damn. 
Let's just continue. Track two, the games we play. Drug dealer bases with gold diggers in them. An elevator condos on everything I love. My gosh. Got a cake, Benny's great. Ovens full of cake, steady bakes. Still spreading paste. The love just accentuates the hate. Ah. This is for my bodybuilding clients moving weight. Games we play. We are the names they say. Huh. This is the drug money your ex nigga claim he makes. Ooh. All of my young niggas. I am your ghost in your raid. This is my purple tape. Save up for rainy this days. Is fire. Baby mama wishes. Fire. Along with the side bitches. Fire. They try to cope in like, paradise. This is a different this of of real rap. Drug mummy. This ain't this really for you. This is for the what girl you want. <laughs> Who said I couldn't ink it? Chess moves have made my third eye. I love that blink. Stay woke, uh, nigga. Baseline, get like, out. Down, Still down. pull them whips out. Yeah. Still. Okay, well, in this track, actually, um, in the second track, he was kind of like going like you, you. Um, I not sure to who he is talks about. Like, if if he is actually. Uh, picking on someone especially but I, I felt like it was pretty like in general like um, more it, it can be anyone but um, like I didn't even, I didn't see this of a person in that track uh, hopefully I, I'm not wrong and hopefully I will actually spot uh, I, I'm not looking for, in genius.com the lyrics, so that's why it's gonna be hard to determine exactly in which track this happened because they added those annotations. But um, I, 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 like this is a challenge for me. I really wanna find out myself. Uh, track uh, three, hard piano. Let's listen to it. Actually, and I like the fact that it's hard piano. The tracks hard piano, and actually the piano playing. I'm sure when you said a lot, I'm the pot calling the kettle black, where there's no brake pedal. It's for the sneaker orders and coke snorters. Yo, come on, let's get it. Rack of blue, million dollars in the dust. Lord knows how many bottles out of bus. Nice. Back four. We have come back, baby. Don't just touch down, I'm so grateful Numbers so low, bitch be thankful They say don't let money change you That's how we know, money ain't you Bitch I've been had, bitch it's been bad We yes. buy big boats, yes. bitch I'm sitting Cocaine soldiers, want civilians Bought hoes Hondas, took care children Let me chameleons ah. Have a have a baby, try me one more who else got the luxury to drop when he want cause nobody else could fuck with me What a show off, nigga wrist for wrist, let's have a glow off Fuck it brick for brick, let's have a blow I need you darling to set me Damn. free This is kindness for, for sure, like, Ooh, this baby. touch I'm about to go out of my mind Now that the tears dry and the pain takes Oh off, my god! This pay you, That's pay a transition you, I'm talking about! Baby, when the streets, I bring Ooh. my offering, I will not preach. Awaken my Ooh. demons, you can hear that man screaming, I'm no different than the priest. Priest. Oh my god. This killing it! This killing it! They say free. What the fuck? The Russian, like so what is this? Head the Kremlin, searching for this the is like Kremlin. President. Oh, I just place oh. orders and drop dollars. Rob Wallace roam the ground, the Glock hollers. The three of y'all too accessible. Seen all the wrong moves, watching the untouchables. We don't do vegetables. Ned's a back fine. Think of double crossing the priest. Hail Mary, repeat after me. Los ángeles esperan un osco, es el fuego que yo. Said it to add more flames by adding Spanish language on there. Los osco, es el fuego que yo. Of all the things See, I've ever paid no, for, no, no. know that it's never seen sharp take. I paid them in small bills, all of them small face. I bet when we draw blood, you niggas will draw blank. Fresh you. Oh. This is actually track 5 Santeria. <laughs> oh shit. My bad. Like. So 
that wasn't transition, right? That was like pretty much just a new track, Centuria track five. Okay, all right, now we got it. Track six, what would Mick do? Featuring Kanye West, and this is a commentary on Mick Mill's imprisonment uh, for, I think, like for more than half a year, almost a year now. Uh, well, almost a year he have been in jail. He got released last month. Kudos. I mean, bravo. Uh, finally, uh, the man got released. He. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if he did deserve to be in jail, didn't deserve, but like a lot of people um, were saying free McMahon. Like there was a tweet um, going on right now. McMahon was a rapper who. Um, like who was dating Nicki Minaj if you didn't know I'm just like saying the, these things because um, there there are people like this is pop channel pretty much right we more listen to pop stuff even though I'm a, a hip-hop fan but uh, and I'm a pop fan of course don't get me wrong but uh, so rap is not usually here in the channel and that's why I'm kind of explaining a lot of more things um, for those maybe who is not really familiar with this stuff, so McMill is dating, was dating Nicki Minaj's ex-boyfriend. He had a feud with Drake, and then Drake destroyed McMill's career <laughs> by singles like back to back when he Drake just took the rap uh, game into another real level. And um, the line where uh, Drake said, "You get him by by a singing N word," uh, it's like. It's so like that was it was a dumb deal like <laughs> because Mick Mill is a, is a street rapper he raps on the street like he used to be like you know the, you have you watched uh, Eight Mile uh, Eminem when he rap battles with people on the street or um, like they they got a special event going on like Mick Mill used to be on that thing. And Drake is from Canada, <laughs> like to understand <laughs> what was going on. Drake is from Canada. <laughs> he, well, yeah, he's he's interested in rap from young years, like from uh, from his childhood. But um, still, like to be able to come in, and yeah, he, he is a rapper who have, has made a lot of uh, soulful, like singing tracks, like you know. One dance, I don't know one dance. Uh, of course, uh, Global Head, uh, Hotline Bling, and sentimental stuff. You know, and he was singing. He was not really rapping there, kind of, but in some of the tracks. So, and he murdered that dude from the street, Meek Mill, um, by the rap. And sorry, I, <laughs> it's just an interesting topic for me. That's why I kind of touched it. Now. What can happen is we can get though, Drake versus Pusha T. This is a new beef, which can occur. I don't know what's gonna what Drake said yet. I don't know what if Pusha T will respond, but um, maybe that's the track actually. What would the uh, Mill do? Uh, because Drake is related to Meek Mill, so. I'm excited, let's just check it out. And Kanye West is on track, even singing, probably rapping. Let's get it. Niggas talk the shit, push, how do you respond? Oh, I'm top five and push all up. of them die on. I we do, devil on the other, what would me do? Papa Willie, tell the judge the Akinelli. Middle fingers off the ghost, screaming Machiavelli. Hail Mary, to respond. I let the monies and the fools talk. Talking shit, yay, how do you respond? Am I too complex for okay. complex con? Everything, yay, say, cause a new debate. Hey. You say, ah. it's hard, way too long, bitch, too bad. Got a surrogate, his kid, get two dads. I be thinking, what would Tupac do? You be thinking, what? Alright, I, I gotta do some digging, to be honest. <laughs> I like that line when Kanye said, "Am I too complex for complex?" Can the complex is a, a rap community, um, pretty much news source, I would say. So everything Ye say cause a new debate, and that's pretty much true. I didn't really understand why Kanye brought up 
the Tupac, I'd be thinking what would Tupac do in this cases. Um, and the case is pretty much uh, people talking and shit. How do you respond to that? And like, what when you have angel on your shoulder, what should you do when you have devil on the shoulder as well? And then what would Meek do? <laughs> Meek Mio, because uh, it's kind of relatable situation for him. But I still like don't see any diss to Tor Drake. I mean, yeah. Well, let's get to infrared maybe there, but if not even there, so I don't know. Like, <laughs> I must be tripping then. Track seven infrared. The game's fucked up, niggas beats is banging, nigga, your hooks did it. Okay, my lyrics are hitting okay. equal yeah. to Trump <laughs> squinting at the mercy of a game where the codes is missing. Then Kendricks let the sock puppets play in they roles and gimmicks. Shit, the juggle these flows and nose candy. Yeah, Ferrari, my 40, blew the camp with the Spanish route. Oh, now it's okay to kill baby. Niggas looked at me crazy like I really killed a baby. Salute Ross, cause the message was more than that. Push up, 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 yeah, there. He mentioned about the Drake. Well, he didn't. He didn't say it's a Drake, but he said, uh, "Like you don't even write your own songs." But let's continue because it was exposed that there is a songwriter for Drake. Um, and I mean, of course, yeah. Like, and I think it's okay in terms of. Like for pop artists, you know, like they share um, uh, their own lyrics to other artists, and like they end up, like those artists end up singing another uh, people's um, lyrics, you know. Um, it, it's fine in pop, nothing wrong with that. They're just working sort of together to come up with stuff. And Drake is like, at this point, he's on the verge of rap and pop, like he, he is. A mainstream artist and it's I feel like in this case it's fine that he has um, other people working on uh, his lyrics as well but the thing is like rap community will not accept that because in rap it all matters like like from your heart like with which you like what your rhymes you know how you are able to paint the picture with the with your words speaking uh, on the struggle you know letting uh, people know about the struggle about your hood what's going on over there uh, about your well a lot of issues and that's how um, like let's say NWA uh, if you have seen the movie straight out of, straight out of Compton they're um, like rappers like Dr. Dre Easy E uh, and Easy was mentioned in this track. Uh, they formed a band and started rapping and started rapping about uh, political, um, police brutality issues, and that was not okay back in the day. Now it's fine to let people know what what's going on, but the rap was used as a tool to spread the knowledge and it should come from your own experience and people are rating your skills of painting the picture with your words by your own lyrics but if like what kind of a fucking rapper are you if you cannot do that yourself and you're getting other people's lyrics and show it as yours so that's where all this uh, country not controversy but like tension basically in the rap comes uh, towards Drake as well like why <laughs> like do your stuff right but uh, yourself I'm not gonna say that it's wrong for Drake to do that because Drake earlier back in the day when he wasn't as popular he 
worth doing by, by himself, I, I hope. <laughs> Probably. You know, he, can, he is able to uh, do this himself. And I'm not sure, but this freestyle was written in one day. Uh, the track we're gonna check out right now. Uh, I think he did it himself, he just recorded it and he released it, you know? I don't know if he was having, like, he had some time to call somebody, or he did this, okay, let's do it. So, and Drake probably was able to deliver a great uh, freestyle himself. So, there you go, you know? But let's just finish the infrared first and we'll go to Drake's um, freestyle. Okay, yeah, let's find that Drake first then. I'm in shock. Uh, you are in shock? Oh uh, shit! The audacity. I like that. <sighs> the beginning is like he's frustrated. Okay. Okay, let's go. So if you rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of V's What do you really, I've done things for him I thought that he never would need Father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me I pop style for 30 hours then let him repeat Now you popping up with the jokes, I'm dead, I'm asleep He's talking about Kanye West right now But he's like addressing it to Pusha T Like I've done th things for him too and what if uh, so what the like I kind of worked with other people uh, for a couple of tracks I and I also I I provided work to other people as well um, Including Kanye West uh, father stretch my hands by one of <laughs> them. This is interesting I just tired of sitting quiet and helping my enemies eat keep getting temperature checks They know that my head overheats eat must have had your infrared wrong now your head in a beam y'all are the spitting image of what Yeah, damn it. He said must have had your infrared wrong. Infrared is a track Pusha T like talked about this. God damn it! All right. Never jealousy breeze. Don't push me when I'm in album mode. Uh -huh. You're not even top five. As <laughs> Don't push me when you're in album mode. You're not even in top five. Even the Pusha T said, I'm in top five. As far as your label talent goes, you send shots while I gotta challenge those. God but I bring damn. calicos to the Alamo. I can never have a virtual in my circle. I didn't know that this dude can get like to this. Just that single line. Hold him back because he makes me nervous. I want to see my brothers flourish to their higher purpose. I'm too resilient. Get out your feelings. It's going to be a cool summer for you. Uh -huh. I told Weezy and Baby I'm a dunner for you. Tell oh. me we got an invoice coming to you. Considering that we just sold another 20 for you. No. No. <laughs> Drake. Oh my Toronto not 30 to 33 style he had not 4 p.m. in Calabasas even though these tracks are all amazing I love when he does this when because like they're all like there is just a freestyle but they all had in they all had incredible beat to it and incredible flow by Drake when he Proving that he is there for a reason, and this freestyle this time, Duppy freestyle, god damn it! Have you heard this fucking beat and what he said? This beat is fucking dope, and not only that, but Pusha T, um, like Duppy freestyle, like this beat, Drake didn't have this kind of like true rap beat 
in a while. Like he was like on that I need no one else shit. He was on that uh control 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 he was on that uh fucking uh <laughs> He was on the God's plan, God's plan, fun track, or so like or that uh, kind of sad track, but he is still like uh, singing. It's not, it's not that hardcore rap. It's not that. It wasn't that, but he's freaking back with this, and he proved again that he still got it. My man Drake. All these three rappers and Kanye and Drake and Pusha T. This this is what I'm talking about. This is rap. This is history. This is controversial. This is interesting. Everybody is talking about it, and that's what makes it interesting to listen to this music. Not only because it's fire in terms of beats, but also there is that, like, there's a history, there is, like, rivalry going on, and it's, like, not, like, I don't really like, like, battles or, like, or, like, let's say wars, okay? Like, I, like, war is fucking stupid, but I'm <laughs> just saying. And what I said there right now is controversial because I, st I mean, I still have a lot of respect for military, uh, like uh, for those who are serving there. But I'm just saying, like, why, why we need to, like, have wars? You know, like, why we cannot have peace in the world? Like, a lot of people struggling, a lot of people dying from it. But not, not in this video. <laughs> Here, when I'm talking about, I just applauding for all these three men like for their careers what they have already done for the rap game they would have like tracks albums they were able to provide in career <sighs> Kanye West and Drake are straight up my favorite artists and Eminem as well of course the three of my favorite um well I, I was always saying that Eminem Kanye West and Drake was always the third for me um but still like Drake is freaking fantastic rapper and I'm so happy that Drake kind of murdered him here like I no hate towards Pusha no hate towards Drake I don't want to pick other sides sort of this kind of uh, response wasn't even that necessary because like I mean what if <laughs> Pushy not, was not even thinking about Drake, like who knows, but um, like he just said one line pretty much, but that got so, Drake got so mad uh, at that, because like this is not the first time people are mentioning about this ghost writing thing, but like this, Drake took this opportunity, he's like, oh, look, there's perfect opportunity to address this thing. And actually spit some fire and deliver them to their faces telling them that I am a freaking amazing rapper still you kind of forgot what I was about what I am about still if I'm doing hit records world records uh, and when kind of mainstream doesn't mean that I cannot rap still you know so uh, fantastic journey I had today <sighs> this video damn, as rambling as messed up it was <laughs> I enjoyed filming this uh, reaction to Pusha T's album and uh, to Drake's Duffy Freestyle uh, hope you will enjoy this uh, video uh, on which side are you Drake or Pusha T personally I love them both just don't want to pick either side, just want to appreciate what has happened, like, and because this is, like, it hasn't been for a while now. Uh, like, last thing was Drake and McMill beef, like, the real beef I'm talking about, where we actually listen to tracks to backs, uh, tracks to track, you know, like, and, like, that YouTube kind of beefs, like, among the Jake Pauls and Rice Gums, like, it's, it's not, it's not rap. Uh, I'm talking about real rap 
you know, on this level, like tracks to tracks, real beats. Like well, last time it was Drake and Make Me Up, now it's Drake and Pusha T. Damn, I'm excited. Oh, actually, Joyner Loops and uh, uh, Logic had actually beef, but okay, <laughs> well, there was that as well. Um, but anyway, anyway, Pusha T, fantastic album, and Drake, I'm excited. I'm excited to uh, check out your Scorpion album this June. Stay tuned to see my reaction to Drake's Scorpion this June. Alright, hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Bye!